Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Girls, it's not a game. The Livingstones are getting ready for Auntie Rachel to visit. Auntie Rachel? What's that? Auntie Rachels are a subspecies of humans who are a pain in the rear because they can't stand cats. <laughs> and dogs? Do they like dogs? <laughs> dogs? Seriously, Wash? Does anyone actually like dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Try and hang in there. It's only for a few days. I'm gonna prove to you that everybody loves dogs, Vic. Let the boss man do his shtick. And this should be a gas. Hey, Wash! Wash! <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> Washington! Dog, leave Auntie alone. Oh, now who is this splendid little creature? Hmm. Oh no, my favorite pillow! No way is she Sit going to down here, my little BB. Oh, I can't watch this. What a priceless treasure! The spitting image of Apricot, my darling BB, when I was a little girl. Well, this one's our Washington. Sugar Auntie. Sugar, sugar, BB. Isn't that yummy, little BB? That was a good idea to get rid of that horrible critter you used to have. Boy, did she ever stink. Uh, what critter? Uh, Victoria? Uh, but we still have her, Auntie. In fact, I'll be honest, the family has gotten much bigger. Hey there, darlings. Come say hello to Auntie Rachel. <laughs> hey, you! Get lost, you disgusting creature, you! Show! Show! Ooh, and Auntie's off her rocker! So you've got yourself three new stink balls? One wasn't enough? <clears throat> Sam, girls, go into the kitchen. We'll introduce you later, okay? Take a look at Auntie's BB, heavyweight champion of the world! Hey, I win some sugar sugars too! BB! Ah, when I hear the word sugar sugar, sorry guys, duty call! No, it's not fair! And all that because he's wearing a BB costume and we're not! Ah, uh, come on, quit soaking! Let's go play hide and go pig! Great idea! But it's Wash's turn to play wolf! Don't worry, we'll go get him! Last one there is a stink Hey, what? You gotta come play hide and go pick with us? Oh, be sure. And it's my turn to play the wolf. Uh, uh, oh, baby. You're not playing with those ugly little stink balls. Shoo, shoo. Out of here. No way is she gonna stop us from playing hide and go pick with what? Is everything okay, Auntie? Things couldn't be worse. Those stink balls of yours are bothering my baby and me. We're going for a walk. Yeah? Uh, very well. Uh, have a nice walk? Have a nice walk? And where, pray tell, is the stroller? The... the... stroller? Well, of course! You don't think BB's going to walk on all fours, do you? And bring me his coat, too, please. <laughs> Washington? Washington? 
<laughs> you going to a costume party? Because I have never seen such a stuff. Check out Mommy's darling little doggy. Hey, sweetheart, you want to make some room in your taxi for us? <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a pretty collar. Look at that, BB. <laughs> Shiggy Shiggy Galore is singing color. Sir Wash is leading the high life. He just doesn't have time to play hide and go pig with his friends anymore. He's got no choice, Sam. If we could only somehow console him. I've got an idea. Just make sure you're ready, okay? I've seen better days. Better? You've got a musical collar, sugar, sugar galore, go for a stroll in a stroller. You're a star, buddy, a star. What more do you want, a mountain of sausages? You just don't understand, Sam. We dreamed of all that, sure, but with Auntie Rachel, it's not a dream, it's a nightmare. I'd rather go back and live in the forest. Hey, cheer up. It'll be over soon. Auntie will leave and everything will go back to normal. Oh, what a patch! Yeah. If she thinks for one second she can fool Auntie Rachel, she's the dumbest bird I've ever seen! The first boat out of here tomorrow morning! We? You got it! Ribby and me! I'm certainly not leaving him in this circus with a bunch of thieves and stink balls! Certainly not, Auntie. Washington is part of our family. Very well, then. I'll just have to move in here. I'll have my mail forwarded tomorrow. <laughs> well, actually, you're right. It's going to be hard for us, but we really can't deprive Washington of a dream life with you. Go on. He'd rather go back and live in the forest than with that crazy old bat? I don't believe it. He really left? Oh, poor Wash. We have to go find him. <gasps> We've got to first get rid of Auntie, otherwise Wash will never want to come home. But Auntie will never leave without her BB. If you're interested, I've got an idea. It's not like I really want to see Washington return to the house, but if it might help me get my favorite pillow back. BB has disappeared! costume. Yeah, well, um, we should have it any minute now. Don't worry, we got everything totally under control. I heard that now they make you uh, diet kibble for cats. Do you really 
really want me to get Wash's costume for you? Washington. We just dropped him like an old sock. We really are bad masters. Whoa. Mm. Oh, Washington? Good dog! You came home. Oh no! But then Andy's going to come back too! Mm -hmm. Here we are, Pepe! All we've got now! Huh? Pepe? Pepe! Honey, we got a card from Annie Rachel. Can keep wash, she says. She has just adopted an ostrich who reminds her of Cherry, the ostrich she had when she was a little girl. See, Wash, but if she comes back one day. Yes, yeah, Sam, promise. You can still keep the collar. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Who work in supermarkets throw out perfectly good food into the garbage? Uh-huh. Why in the world would they do that? Go figure, Sam. You know humans, always doing really bizarre things. Shouldn't we have asked the girls to give us a hand? Nah, this is our treasure, Sam. Just for the two of us. There it is. We're gonna put everything in the cart and bring it back to the yard. <laughs> Huh? What do these two deadbeats want? Yeah, uh, we uh, want to get the leftovers from the supermarket. Cause this happens to be our dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know. Let me make things clear. This entire street is my turf. Maybe we could share, like 50-50? Nah, we never share with losers. Say what? What do they mean by losers? Losers, hmm, let's see, how should I say this? You, for example, with your tacky costumes, well, you're losers. And they yeah. are the exact opposite. They're cool. Huh? Those guys? They're cool? Oh, oh yeah! yeah! They're hipsters! The coolest guys in the world! Have you ever heard of zipsters? But they do weird things, no? And why shouldn't they? You know, when you're cool, you're allowed to do anything. Totally. Hipsters impose their coolitude. <sighs> they absolutely rule the city. Sam, I've got a plan so we can get our treasure out of the dumpster. We become Zipsters. But I thought we were losers. <laughs> now that's going to change. Once we become Zipsters, we'll be so cool that Fang will be dying to share with us. Mm -hmm. And what if he refuses? Then we'll help ourselves. After all, Zipsters are allowed to do anything. <laughs> this Zipster kit I ordered on the net is just awesome. Ooh. Ooh. We're almost there, Sam. Are you sure? Zipster, Sam. <laughs> you sure about that? Absolutely. Maybe we should take the guide to being a perfect Zipster, no? Nah, don't need it. Just look how cool we are. So? Mm -hmm. I'm hesitating between ridiculous and hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> What's gotten into them? It looks like they're making fun of us. Nah, no way. It's just that... We've got the look, but not the attitude. Remember what the girls said, Zipsters impose coolitude. They're allowed to do anything. We've got to impose, Sam. Ah! 
Sorry, girls, but we want to watch something else. <laughs> hey, are you nuts or what? Who do you think you are, anyway? A zipster. <laughs> you mind, Vic? <laughs> Thank you! Hey, have you gone totally wacko? Don't you dare put your butt on my pillow! <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't get it. I thought they just loved zipsters. They think we're fake zipsters. No, oh, it's because they know our beards are fake. If nobody takes us seriously, Fang will never give us our share of the food. Of course. Once we're outside, nobody will know these are fake beards. And this time, we're going to follow the guide to being a perfect zipster. You see, Sam, in order to pass ourselves off as perfect zipsters, we gotta do cool stuff like that. Hmm. Our turn to play. <laughs> hey, those are ours! <laughs> to look out, buddy, because we are Zipsters! <laughs> well, how do you stop this thing? Uh, you know those guys? Hmm, wouldn't be Wash and Sam Livingstone, would it? Impossible! Sam and Wash don't have beards! They stole our blanks! Give us back our toys, you mean thieves! What are you doing? We didn't steal anything, Sam. We're zipsters. We impose ourselves, period. It's sure not easy being a zipster. Yeah, but it's worth it. Check out all our admirers. Hmm. <laughs> Stop! think you are anyway. It's absolutely forbidden for pets to make little kids cry. Where did you come from? There? Yeah, well, we know the animals who live there, and they're nothing at all like you. Especially Wash, who is more handsome, more intelligent, more... Yeah, right. Uh. Total nonsense. As for you two guys... <laughs> <laughs> And don't even dream of ever stepping a foot in here again, you bubs! <sighs> Sam, can you believe it? We look so much like zipsters that nobody can recognize us. Do you realize what the future has in store for us? Yeah, cool stuff. Way better, Sam! A future without our costumes! Since no one recognizes us anymore, there's no reason to hide! Yeah. a level of ultimate zipstertude, Sam. We rule the city, so now's the moment to go find Fang and recover what is rightfully ours from that dumpster. <laughs> hey, yo, hip cats. Mm -hmm. How's about going 50-50 on the dumpster with me and my main dude here? <laughs> yeah? And why would I do that? Cause we have become zipsters. Zip what? Zipsters, dude. Isn't our look sufficient proof? What are they doing? We are doing the knee jerk, which is not something for losers. That's right, Fine. And now we belong to the club that rules the city. 
More like fools of the city, I'd say. <laughs> fools? I thought we were zipsters. Of course we are. And since Fang doesn't want to share, we're going to impose. <laughs> hey there, you clowns. Didn't you hear? <laughs> but they're, they're wild beasts. Ah! Caught me alive! <laughs> and to think the solution was in front of our snouts the whole time. All we had to do was be ourselves, the wild ones! <laughs> why didn't we think of that sooner? <laughs> That's probably why we didn't think of it sooner. My lettuce smoothie! Huh? Where did they put their costumes? Come on, I got an idea! <laughs> and to think that we barely even got to taste the life of a zipster! Like that lettuce smoothie? Blah. What in the heck are those critters? Looks like a rabbit and a canary wearing beards. Unbelievable! Don't move. I've got to take a photo for my Instagram account. <coughs> oh, rats, we forgot all about our wild animals. <coughs> yeah. Phew, that was a close call. So, who's the coolest now, huh? Way to go, girls. Thanks a ton. But you can get rid of your beards now. Enough zipstering for one day. Girls? Those zipsters are girls with beards? And to thank you, we have decided to share our treasure with you. At least the zipster effect helped us get rid of Fang. <laughs> yeah, more like the no costume effect. <laughs> Boy, what a bunch of losers. They don't even have beards. And yet, Everybody knows that if you want to be a hip pet, you can't be without one. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. to go to Bebop Bunny for a free beauty kit. Pretty obvious, no? Sorry, we're super busy. We're onto something absolutely awesome here. Racing at top speed, the black slug can cover more than two centimeters an hour. We want to go! We want to go! We want to go! Sure, promise. Tomorrow. No! Mm. Today! Uh? Uh, mm -mm. Uh, what's that? Hmm. Da! It's a bunny mobile! A self-driving car to go to the Bebop Bunny Baron! A state-of-the-art self-driving car? Uh, whoa! 
gosh, we're actually kind of busy, huh? And besides, must I remind you that cars are reserved for humans only? Come on, cool it, Sam. I just want to have a look. I wasn't going to drive it. <sighs> Relax. The living stones are gone for the day. And when we get back, the race will only be half over. Sorry, if I say yes, then I'll lose all credibility around here. So the answer's no. <laughs> Okay, all right. Yippee! Ah! I can't see anything through this tinted glass. Welcome aboard the Bunny Mobile. Passengers, please get in. Wow! It's so beautiful! During your trip, enjoy all the comfort of the Bunny Mobile. Automatic pilot with GPS, speed regulator, soft drink dispenser, and free call at 011-989-9988199999199-7253 in case of emergency. Destination, Bebop Bunny. Bush, stop the car! No! We're gonna get cut! Oh, come on, Sam! Don't worry! The windows are tinted, so there's no risk! Uh-oh. Are you sure we're okay? I get this feeling we've been spotted. Emergency <laughs> <laughs> on the corner of Lafayette and Washington. There's an alligator in a tree! You see? I told you we had nothing to fear. In order to access your relaxation options, punch in the bunny button. Option one, massage. Option two, music. Option three, carrot juice. Yeah, Wash, this is too awesome. Do you think they also make kitty mobiles? When are we gonna get there? We're not even moving. But we are moving. It's just that the technology in these cars is so sophisticated that you don't even notice you're driving when in fact you're actually speeding down the road. Mm -hmm. Oh, because like right now we're speeding, huh? Are, are we, we there, there yet? yet? Hurry up! This is taking so long! All right already, girls, I'll speed up. All you had to do was ask. Newsflash, the Bunny Store Fair is a whopping success and their beauty kits are going like hotcakes. Hurry up if you want to get your hands on one. They won't last long. Oh, no! My beauty kit! Wash, hurry up! Please, please, please! Please, 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 please! Okay, okay, everything's under control. Don't panic. Situation's under control. Turn this thing off! An alligator in a tree? What'll they come up with next? Uh-oh, the animal pound! Yeah, well, with the tinted glass windows, we're cool. Oh, uh, yeah? And you think that works when they're open, too? Acceleration activated. Let's go! Forget the alligator! Uh, kid, this is your chance. We're counting on you! Ah! Uh, they're not following us anymore! Well, of course not! They're the animal pound, not the police. You have reached your final destination. We'll wait for you in the car, girls. Don't take too long, okay? <laughs> what did I say, huh? It was all just child's play. Yeah. <laughs> pound! Start! Error. You have reached your final destination. Activate bunny control to enter a new destination. Oh, Automatic oh remote control deactivated. Manual drive is activated. <laughs> The Super Duper Tunnel Slide has just opened! Come and get your fill of bunny thrills! Shall we go? It looks awesome! Do you think we've got time? Sam said we should hurry up. Yeah, all right. He's probably getting a massage in the bunny mobile right now. I bet he's in seventh heaven. No way! 
Crush, speed up! They're right behind us! Phew! They're gone! We're safe! Wash, you can slow down. They're gone! I'd like to, except I get the feeling that the accelerator's like, uh, stuck! Uh, Sam, don't touch anything. This is no time to slow down. Eugenie and Susie without getting caught. Call the emergency number. I think now's the time. Oh, yeah, good idea. But, um, uh, what was the number again? Yeah, after 999 Is it a one or a nine? Do you think Sam and Wash are going to jail? But the close call. I really like his daredevil style. He's totally oh. fearless. Reminds me of the blind bird Joe. That's my buddy Washington driving the bunny mobile. Think you could help him ditch the guys following them? An awesome driver like him? Well, that would be an honor. Flight formation! <laughs> Open fire! Center, how can I be of assistance to you? Hey, it works! Uh, can you tell me why we're calling them again? Drop it! Everything's cool, I ditched them. Oh. Oh no, I just realized! How are we going to get to the girls? Battery dead. Please recharge battery. I repeat, mm -hmm. please re Did you just touch something? Charge. Mm -hmm. Battery. Do you know where we are, Sam? No idea. Even when I was little, I couldn't find my way home from one mud puddle to the next. So just imagine here. Are you serious? <laughs> you don't even know where you are. Our house is right over there. Here's a genie. Susie. Of course we knew where we were. We were just waiting for you. So, shall we go home? Yeah. We're filthy. If the Livingstones see us like this, they're going to want to give us a bath, and then they'll see our costumes and... We knew we should have stayed in front of the TV. Drat, you're right. Hey, how did you do it? What? Get clean? Check it out. Big Bop Bunny all-purpose cleaner. <laughs> wow, that works. Awesome. Thank you, girls. <laughs> You see, Sam, I told you we'd be back in time for the end of the race. Yeah, but now that we missed everything in the middle, I can't figure out what's going on. Uh, your snail race totally stinks. Bebop Bunny's way better. Hey, darlings, we've got a surprise for you. We're taking you to the Bebop Bunny Fair. Yay! <laughs> you agree? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret.
so. I can hear her scratching her litter box. Vic will be out in a second. And Sam? Still nothing. I can do even better than that. One time, I stayed in there less than a minute. Whoa! Three hours, 45 minutes? He's never stayed so long in his litter box. I can't believe it. Do girls realize that Sam is going to beat his own world record? So? Oh, three hours, 45 minutes, and 57 seconds. You just beat your record. Way to go, amigo. Yeah. Back in the forest, I won the contest to see which wild boar could do the biggest. Hey, darling, it's me. And who's the big package for? It's for Sam. Ta-da! Your potty is ready, Sam. With this, you'll be able to use the toilet like a human being. And it will save us from having to empty your litter box several times a day. It will certainly be useful, but do you think Sam will manage? <laughs> of course he will, honey. Sam is very smart. Amazing! The Las Vegas Electronic Show. Now this is a program for me. Ugh. Sam, what's wrong with you? You have to go to the bathroom! Uh, again? Sam, you just spent exactly three hours, 45 minutes, and 57 seconds in the toilet. It's because of Mr. Livingstone's pet potty. Just thinking about it stresses me out, and when I'm stressed out, I have to go to the bathroom. Go on, Sam. I'm sure it'll work just fine. It's pretty obvious it's not you who has to use the pet potty. It's super complicated. There's a sort of pan where you put your paws just above a hole with water, and I don't understand a thing. Listen, Sam, if it's that bad, go in your old litter box. Then you can just flush the toilet to make the living stones think that you were on the pet body like a good cat and you're home free. Thanks, Wash. You're the best. No, no, no. No more litter box. Now you're going to go to the potty like a big cat. How does this thing work? <laughs> there, you can do your business now, Sam. New technology serving human needs. <sighs> what if just for once they thought of animal needs? <laughs> what? You missed the hole? <laughs> way, way worse. I didn't do anything at all. The living stones watch me to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. But to do that, I have to unzip the back of my costume. And if the living stones see that, they'll discover that I'm not a real cat. Don't worry, Sam. We're going to help you. But do you mind waiting until my show's over? If they're rolling the end credits, okay. Otherwise, I think it'll be too risky. Oh. <laughs> hey, you want to play ball there, Washington? Honey, I'm going outside to play ball with Washington. Right. What are you doing here, you little rascals? <laughs> oh. Good dog. That's the alarm I installed for Sam. Quick! What? Why did he stop playing? Do you think he did his business? Mm -mm. Don't worry, honey. It's his first time. It's normal. It may take a while. Ah. Sam's not moving. His costume must be open in the rear. I've got an idea. Get yourselves ready to go button up Sam's costume. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> doesn't seem to be getting used to it. I really feel like that pet body is a failure. Perhaps he simply has a shy bladder. Maybe he freezes up when he knows people are watching him go to the bathroom. 
With this little camera, Sam won't know he's being watched and will be able to verify that he's learning to use the pet potty. I could never forgive myself if it's too hard for him. Hi, Mr. Livingstone, you think of everything. Yeah. Hey, can you lend me your litter box, please? I already had to stop a fake dog from doing number one in it. There's certainly no way a fake cat is going to do a number two. Don't worry, Sam. Don't listen. We don't need her. Just do it discreetly in the yard like dogs do. But Wash, I'm a cat. What about feline honor, you know? Sam, must I remind you that you are first and foremost a wild boar? And that is exactly what the Livingstones are going to find out if you don't wake up. <laughs> it's true. I suppose the yard isn't that bad after all. Thanks, Wash. <laughs> it works. Voila. Now all we have to do is wait for Sam. <laughs> At least no one will see me up there. Hey, what's he doing? <laughs> Man, are you nuts or what? You disgusting pig! You know what this reminds me of? That sublime French film from the 60s. Oh, come on, honey. You know that film where you broke your nodding off record by falling asleep after only five minutes? Uh, two years ago at Barry and Matt's? Exactly. Except that here, when Sam finally shows up, the film is going to become exciting. Joe, oh, I'm a goner. It's impossible for me to find a quiet place. The yard is even worse than the forest on the first day of the hunting season. There are crowds everywhere. Wait a bit, Sam. When the sun goes down, everyone will leave to go. I can't hold it in. I'm going to use the pet body and tough luck if the living stones catch me and I have to go back and live in the forest as the wild boar that I really am. Farewell, dogs, cats, canaries, and beloved TV. We can't leave him like this. Wash, you gotta do something. Of course. Listen, we're gonna dig a secret bathroom under the sofa for Sam and build a sewage system that will connect to the elves' bathroom. Then we'll activate the toilet flush by tinkering around with the remote control Wouldn't after it having- be a whole lot easier to just turn off the camera in the bathroom? Uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> That's what I was getting at. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. I've got no choice. Ouch! Nick, I'm begging you. Your litter box is the only place I can do my business without the camera seeing me. If you agree, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll offer you my treasure chest of chestnuts. That's sweet of you, Sam. But it's a no. Nick, wait a minute. I got something for you. No means no! What in the world is he doing? How about we go watch TV instead? Besides, we'll get a warning when Sam climbs onto the pet potty. You left the alarm on, didn't you? Absolutely. <laughs> but, but where's Sam? If he's not here, that means he didn't climb onto the pet potty. So we still have a chance to save him by turning off the camera before he comes back. Uh, how do you turn this thing off? No idea. Hold on, I'm coming. What if I let you choose the TV programs for a week? Nope. Months? Uh, no. What about forever? Uh, okay, it's a deal. You can use my litter box, but just this once. <laughs> what in the world are you doing? Stop that right now, it's dangerous. You've got it all wrong, Vic. What's dangerous for Sam is that camera pointed at the pet potty. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, new technology is not only here to serve humans, but also animals. And to prove it, here is a self-cleaning litter box, oh. which not only allows happy cat owners everywhere to stop cleaning out litter boxes, but it can also be delivered in one minute flat anywhere in the world. Wow, exactly what we need for Sam. But why? Sam is going to master the pet potty, honey. I'm 100% sure of it. Why, it's just a question of minutes.
right, honey. A self-cleaning litter box delivered in a minute sounds like a pretty good idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, honey. Let's give Sam some privacy this time. <laughs> With all the excitement around here, the Livingstones didn't even think to fix my broken litter box. I'm the one who should have gotten the self-cleaning box. Why don't you ask Sam? I'm sure he'll let you use it. So I can die asphyxiated? No, thank you very much. Anybody know how to get out of this thing? Oh, right, Sam is stuck. How do we open this thing? Let the pro handle this. High tech is my middle name. Oops, maybe that wasn't the right button. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. Whoa, this is the best invention of all time. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Let the pro show you how it's done. <laughs> Whoa! 37.8! No way! Right turn, right turn! Move it, Rush! <laughs> so, so, what's my score? Sam, how do you expect us to know? You broke the scale! Yeah, that's too easy. As soon as I'm about to win, you always come up with an excuse that I lose. You were already doing that back in the forest. Lunch is ready. Huh? Oh. Oh. Your kibble tastes super weird today, doesn't it? Are you kidding? This awesome as usual. So, little Sammy, you don't like your brand new kibble extra light? Yeah. With our new Kibble Extra and five vegetables and sawdust fiber, you'll be a skinny cat in just weeks. Nick, what do you say we trade Kibble, huh? Between us cats. Um, no. Okay, well then if that's how it's going to be, I guess I'll be seeing you guys later. Wash, Vic, the Living Stones. Nobody understands me. Luckily, you're here. You know, if I stay here, it's only because of you. In ancient Egypt, cats were the preferred pets of the pharaohs. Considered to be gods, cats were so adored and revered that they were protected yeah. by all Egyptians. And they lived in temples that were built in honor of Bestet, the Egyptian cat goddess of love. Bastet? The Egyptian cat goddess? Why don't we suggest playing tag with him? He loves that. I'm sure it'll lift his spirits. Sam! Sam! Oh, come on! Some people are asleep around here. Besides, your friend has gone outside. Sam! 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 What in the world are you doing? I'm leaving for Egypt. At least there, everybody will revere me. What does revere mean? That means that everyone will love me, and I'll be able to eat whatever I want, and not just a little bowl of extra light kibble. Sounds awesome. Is Egypt far? No idea, but it's worth a trip. In Egypt, everybody pampers cats. That's because my ancestor was a cat goddess. Pretty classy, huh? But Sam! You're not even a real cat. <laughs> Is he leaving for good? Of course not. He's leading us on. He's just doing it so we'll give him our kibble, because he doesn't like his new extra light kibble. Mm -hmm. I give him 10 seconds before he changes his mind and comes home. <laughs> Farewell, and kiss my darling Timmy goodbye for me. <laughs> Wash. 
<laughs> Are you really sure that Sam is taking us for a ride? Sam, stop! It's true we haven't been very nice to you, but if you stay, you won't regret it. I promise we'll take great care of you. As much as they do in Egypt? Way more! Okay, I'll stay a little bit longer, just to see. <laughs> really? For me? Of course! Me kibble as two kibble, amigo. <laughs> and what would you say to playing your all-time favorite game, Sam? Tag, Sam! Okay, but under one condition, we play Egyptian tag. Sam, if we play tag, we... <laughs> okay! All right, the rules are simple. I met you, see, but you guys have to be super duper nice to me. And if you manage that, I'll stay. Otherwise, I go to Egypt. Understand? Yay! 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 Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Hey, uh, come on, can we play some other game now? Wash, we just started. Come on, try a little harder. You promised to make Sam happy. No. How about taking me for a little ride to help me digest all this food? He was the greatest of cats who filled us with joy and glee. His ancestor, the Egyptians, considered him the height of feline beauty. The secret cat he was, he left even the dogs in awe. Left even the dogs in awe? Are you serious? Yep, that's right, Alvarez. I saw it on TV. My ancestor was a goddess. A goddess? And what was her name? <laughs> it was the goddess Samses. And this is her descendant, Samses the Second. Glory be to Samses the Second, goddess of the heavens. Wash, Samses the Second wants to continue his royal stroll. Yeah, well, his majesty still has some paws. How about he gets some exercise? Oh, so I see. That's how you think cats are treated in Egypt, Wash? I can't take any more of this. If you want to leave, just go ahead. It'll give me a vacation. Yeah? You don't seriously think I would abandon my people because you're in a bad mood, do you? <laughs> I'm staying, Wash. Yeah! You decided to stop playing the clown for your buddy? What's his name again? Samzies 2. Numerous cats have been mummified in the pyramids. These mummies were meant to accompany the dead pharaohs during their final voyage. <laughs> Can you just imagine our Samzies 2 in a pyramid amongst all those mummies? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, oh great Samzies 2? <laughs> It's a bit small. Should be way bigger, like in Egypt. Yeah, but we're not in Egypt, and you're not a cat, but a wild boar, so this will have to do. Me? A wild boar? Samsies, too, is in no way related to a disgusting creature. <laughs> Saying such a thing in front of your very own sister is terrible! <laughs> Then we'll leave you alone with your too small statue, I told him. Seriously, who does he think he is? Don't worry, Eugenie. We're gonna remind Sam who he really is. Do you know what mummies are, girls? <laughs> are you ready, girls? Yeah! yeah! Uh. snoring. Enough already. Oh. <laughs> Eugenie, Susie, get rid of that horrible mosquito. He's disturbing my precious sleep, will you? Me? A horrible mosquito? Woo! <laughs> 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 
Samsies, too. We are mummies sent by your ancestors, and we have been ordered to bring you back to the pyramids. Uh, thanks for the invite. I'm really tempted, you know, but uh, actually, I think I prefer staying here with my people. Yeah, well, no. Your ancestors are waiting for you in Egypt, so you gotta go now. Yeah? Are you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just give me 30 seconds, okay? I gotta go get some kibble for the trip, and, uh... Be right back! Ah! 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 Uh, honey? Did you hear all that ruckus? Honey, there's somebody in the living room! No, there isn't. It's just the animals having a little party. You really think so? They usually sleep like logs. And what if it was the same intruder who broke our bathroom scale? <laughs> Have mercy, please! This is all a big mistake! I'm just in front of the Millwire board! Not a sacred cat! Look! Ah. Ah. Honey, there's a wild boar and three mummies in the living room! Do you think that's who broke our bathroom scale? Of course not! You just had a nightmare, that's all! You think so? Sam, put your costume back on right this second or we'll be sent back to the forest. I don't care. I'd rather go back to the forest than find myself stuck inside a pyramid with you guys. Sorry, you'll never get me. Are you okay, Sam? Eugenie, Susie, you managed to get rid of the money? Sam, quick, put this on. You see, honey, I was right. They were just having fun with the toilet paper, that's all. Come on, guys. You can sleep in our room tonight. That way, there'll be no more fooling around. Yay! And I think that in Egypt, I would have had sausages for breakfast. Yeah, but you'd be with a bunch of mummies deep inside a pyramid and not here with us at the Living Stones. You're right. Things aren't that bad here after all. But... Extra light kibble! I can't believe it! The Living Stones made a mistake! Do you really think so? Sam? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Mud in your eyes or what? It looks like a vacuum cleaner. It's so obvious. So, so, did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Got it! Whoa! Magnificent, my dear Alvarez! Your tattoo is totally awesome! What? A tattoo? Now that is classy! A tattoo? What's a tattoo? Oh, it's a drawing you do on your skin. You never watch tattoo TV? Yeah! It's almost time for a show! You coming, Eugenie? So, what'd you get tattooed? An eagle? A mermaid? So, where is it? Well, there, of course. Numbers? <laughs> I do not believe it. That's the dumbest tattoo I've ever seen. Yeah, uh, didn't you just say the tattoos were so classy? For sure. Except Alvarez's. <laughs> well, does our tattoo expert at least know that all dogs and cats must be tattooed? It's the law. <laughs> My master is just checking and making sure the neighbors are following the new regulation. Uh, 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 for sure, I knew that. Yeah, you knew that? I sure didn't. Of course we knew that, Sam! No, but uh, seriously, your tattoo is super cool. What tattoo parlor did you go to get it done? Tattoo parlor? I went to the vet to have it done, silly. Super soft. Two ply, 12 rolls. Three ply, six for, uh, there. Furry comfy. 
Are we even out of it? Huh. Tattoo TV, the show that knows all about... Tattoos! Mr. Livingstone is doing his shopping online. It's now or never, Sam. He'll be the lookout. Tattoo, tattoo. Bingo! Whoa! These ones are way too awesome. I knew you didn't have to go to the vet for one. What a loser that poor old Alvarez is. And voila! Meow! Meow! Furry comfy. Exactly what we need. Your order has been confirmed. Congratulations. <laughs> you have just won four free rolls of our Christmas special toilet paper. Available oh, in wow. your Wow, did you hear that, honey? Mr. Livingstone, you rule. Let's go right this second. Did it, huh? Mm hmm I sure hope that Mr. Livingstone chose the same delivery. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone's delivery. Ta-da! Check it out, Sam. Who rules now, huh? 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 Now, isn't this classy? Wow! Yeah! You guys are awesome! Whoa! You guys are heavyweights! Oh, yeah! You look amazing with those! <laughs> Especially you, Wash. Oh, yeah? More like big time vulgar, I'd say. Huh? Seriously? Is this a joke or what? <laughs> Forget it. He's just jealous of our cool tattoos. Mm -hmm. Come on. We're going to go show off our stuff to someone else. You, Victoria. If I'm in here, it's precisely so you'll leave me alone. Hey, come on. You've slept enough already. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Now all you need is some long hair going down your neck, and you'll be perfect. Hmm. You really think so? <laughs> nope. Forget it, Sam. She's jealous, too. Let's see your tattoo. Ooh, a number? <laughs> Just like Alvarez, how super cool is that? <laughs> if we have numbers tattooed in our ears, it's not to look cool, you fools. It's so we can be identified. Wait a sec. You mean that that's why all dogs and cats have to tattoo silly, ugly numbers in their ears? Mm -hmm. And now, this month's Top 10 Tattoos! Awesome! Wash, what are we going to do? First, we gotta think, Sam. If the Living Stones see our tattoos, they're gonna look closely at our costumes and realize who we are. So we've got to- Hey there, guys! <laughs> really is our lucky day. Oh, you'll never believe this, honey. But with the four rolls we just picked up, why, we want eight more that we can pick up right now! <laughs> We absolutely have to get rid of these tattoos! I'm sure this will do the job. John Bruce tattoos his torso. Little does he know that this rash decision is for life. Huh? But after years of despair, John Bruce discovers that certain hospital surgeons are able to remove tattoos with laser treatment. Lasers? Aren't those used in outer space films? That's cool, Sam. All they have to do is aim well so they can only disintegrate the tattoos. No, what's going to be the hardest is finding the lasers. How the heck do we get up into outer space? Huh? Can we go to the amusement park instead? It's right nearby, and besides, they've got tons of flying lasers there. Awesome idea, Susie. Sam, we're out of here. Not a second to lose. Retreat, everybody. We're going back through the kitchen. Perfect time. I was looking for you. It's about your pets. All your pets have been tattooed, I presume? Uh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> because that is the law. Any animal who has not been tattooed shall be considered wild, and as a consequence, sent to the local pal. <laughs> Perfect timing. Did you know that animals who have not been appropriately tattooed are totally forbidden from going out in the yard? 
Sorry, that's the law. After all, we cannot have just any old wild animal hanging out around here. Hey oh, there, sweetie pies. Where are you? Quick, Sam, let's hide all this. Come on now, Wash. Be a good dog. Let go of Sam. We have to go see the vet to get your tattoos. Leave them alone, honey. They're stressed out. It's normal. Don't worry. The vet will know how to reassure them. Ah! Perhaps we should also ask the vet to give them a checkup. Wash, what are we going to do? We've got to stay like this, Sam. If the vet sees our tattoos, he's going to look at our costumes and then we'll be goners! go back to the supermarket in less than an hour, I can win 10 <laughs> new rolls of toilet paper. 10! <laughs> can you believe that, honey? I told you they were inseparable, Vladimir, but that shouldn't stop you from being able to tattoo their ears. Are you serious, Velma? I wouldn't know who I'm tattooing. Sam or Wash, Web or Sash. Well, in that case, why don't you separate them yourself? So, you were right. This has gone on long enough. Wash, what is he doing? He's giving up, Sam. He realized that it's impossible to separate us. Yeah! That's good, Java. There's nothing like freshly ground coffee. <laughs> you, you, you found the laser? So, who's the best? Awesome! My eagle is flown away! No doubt about it. Some of the most beautiful tattoos I've ever done, right? <laughs> yep, we got tattoos now too. And check it out, our numbers are even way higher than yours. Huh, ridiculous. And thank you guys for the helping hand. You did a great job on this one. That's kind of you, Sam. But you better thank the alien. Thank you, you too, too, alien, alien friends. friends. Honey. The supermarket was hosting a contest on their website and I won oh. my weight in toilet paper! Can you help me carry it inside? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> Am I dreaming? Or are our pets getting really, really huge? Yeah, I may have been going a bit heavy on the portions lately. <laughs> <laughs> I hear the call of the kibble. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what is that huge thing? A kibble. It's all stuck inside. Give me back my kibble. Right. Let's just calm down and tranquilly analyze the situation. Do you think they'll come out? Mm -hmm. Three crummy kibbles? <laughs> Looks like our brand new super kibble dispenser has them intrigued. With a diet like this, they'll slim down in no time. Let's let them savor their breakfast. What? That's it? They can't do that to us! Calm down, Sam. We may as well help ourselves to the supply stock. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Huh? They're all locked? We're off to work. See you this evening. <laughs> five hours and 54 minutes? Oh, no! We have to wait five hours and 54 minutes before dinner. Uh, we'll never get it open. We're goners. Any silly costumes which are too tight. Well, since we got no food. With Flying Pizza Delivery, your dreams become reality. Order your XXL pizza now by just punching the OK button on your remote control. Two each. <laughs> Your order has been confirmed. Like pizza at your own <laughs> service. <laughs> Wild animals! <laughs> uh, the delivery guy. Phew! He's breathing. He's just unconscious. So we've got to get rid of him immediately. Besides, he saw us without our costumes. Coast is clear. Whoa, hang on. What's that noise in his trunk? Have you received your delivery? Push one to confirm. You have not confirmed. Flying Pizza will send an emergency team in nine, eight, seven. Oh no, no. Six, they're on their way! Five, We're goners! Three, two. Phew! Congratulations! You have been given a new delivery. It awaits you at the Flying Pizza Dispatch. Push one to confirm. <laughs> your next delivery has been confirmed. The Flying Pizza Dispatch Center awaits your arrival. Right, we've got no choice then. No way can Flying Pizza find out. Yeah, if their emergency team shows up, they're gonna find their delivery boy out cold. And what's more, discover our real identities. Remember, he saw us without our costumes. Straight ahead, and then you take the next right. He's still asleep, that's a good sign. A hairpin turn? You said it was straight ahead! Ah! Ah! Right! So anyway, there! You turn right! Uh, no, left! Oh, sorry! Uh, I was holding it upside down! <laughs> ah! Ah! What's going on with you? You're late, and you took long enough to confirm at the last delivery. Do you think it's gonna work? 
you're not a very talkative. Now listen up, kiddo. No more being late. You do your job fast, and you do it well. Capiche? Otherwise, I send in the emergency team, and believe me, you don't want to see those guys unless you want to wind up as a topping on the next pizza. <laughs> Whoa, this job sure isn't easy. Yum, pizza toppings. Right. I take your silence as a yes. Mm. New order in process of being delivered. Mozzarella, anchovies, capers, mushrooms, olives. Sam, watch! Quick! We're running super late! Hey, where is Sam? What do you want, you filthy mud, you? Hey, come back, will you? Give me back my pizza doll! Sam, no! <laughs> over this bridge. Come on, let's go. We're gonna make it. Oh no, the bridge is rising. We gotta make it across, otherwise we'll never make it in time. I can't watch. We made it. Okay, that's great. So we deliver the pizza, and that's that! Right on time! What is that? It looks like the house of the... Veterinarian! <laughs> what in the world is my special flying pizza with extra pepperoni and sausage and oyster toppings going to get here? I'm not going in! Me neither! Come on, a bit of courage, guys. A man who likes pizza can't be all that bad. And besides, we've got no choice. Otherwise, the emergency team turns us into toppings. Come on, let's go. <laughs> so, late again. If they're not here in 30 seconds, I'm calling the Flyer Pizza's emergency hotline. Quick! We gotta deliver the pizza! We can't let him make that call! to you, young man. Hmm. Lackluster fur. Snout is dry. Hmm. You lack vitality, energy. You need to get out more, old boy. Get some exercise. Do you like playing with rubber balls? Right. So what you need is a pick-me-up. I'm also prescribing you three days sick leave. Your job is exhausting. And here's a tip. You're lucky, you know. Two more seconds and I was going to call the emergency hotline. Uh, uh, thank you. But where did all the wild animals go? Wild animals? The medicine must be kicking in already. <laughs> Flying Pizza has another order for you. Push one to confirm. You kept the watch? Well, what? I think it's pretty. Are you crazy or what? Do you want to wind up as pepperoni topping? <laughs> so what are we going to do now? We are going home. Home? But how? It's far. Oh, I don't know. Try walking. It's incredible! 
people. Crazy. You all look like you're in tip-top shape. <laughs> it even looks like their muscles are toned up. And they look so healthy, don't they? Yes, as if they had been exercising outside in the fresh air all day. Well, well, I had my doubts about that kibble dispenser, but I can tell you we're certainly keeping it now. Yeah. Oh, oh, no! no! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's totally in the rules. Don't tell me I don't know how to play soccer. Goal! No goal! No goal! No goal! No goal! You were lucky, that's all. Bring the ball back here and I'll show you who's the star. I don't know why I should go fetch it. You're the one who kicked. But, Eugenie, you touched the ball last, so you have to go fetch it. There's nothing to be done about it. It's the rule. Okay, if it's the rule. <laughs> hey, that's a foul! Nonsense! That was no foul! It's not my fault if you don't like the rules. You see, Eugenie, town games are like that, okay? It's not like in the forest where you can do whatever you like. Well, sometimes I wish I was back in the forest. Chase into the forest? Chase the one. She's our supreme guide. Sweetie Pies, it's dinner time. <laughs> Why don't you go back to the forest for dinner? Come on, it doesn't matter. It's only a game. Go, oh, that wretched dog. As soon as the Supreme Guide returns, we'll move into action. Okay, 
How about we settle this with a carrot tossing contest? If I win, you go and Eugenie stays with us. If I lose, Eugenie goes with you if she feels like it, okay? Okay. I'm gonna show you what real carrot tossing is about. Watch and learn. <laughs> With carrot tossing like that, Eugenie won't be going anywhere. Thanks, Wash. Up we go, comrades. But hey, but that's cheating. You're not allowed yes, to. Yes, you are. I know carrot tossing rules all by heart. So. To a wondrous, beautiful place. We'll explain later. Not in front of that dumb dog. See you soon, guys! Hey, but Eugenie, you you can't just abandon your big brother like that. Leave it, Sam. If Eugenie prefers to go off with cheats. You're the one who couldn't stop cheating yesterday, Wash. And you deserve to be abandoned all on your own. No. Die coming along. I want to join your pure relief thing with you. You should join the LLRI instead. The League for Lousy Rabbit Impersonators. <laughs> <laughs> Comrades, let me present Dick and Harry. Together, we form the PBLF, the Pet Bird Liberation Front. Can we come with you? Pigeons aren't pets. Come on, that's enough. Let's go. Hang on, they're my best friends. Show a bit of respect. All right, they may come with us. The most important thing is the happiness of our supreme yeah. guide. So where are we going? To the forest, the land of freedom. Huh? The forest? But the forest isn't the land of freedom. It's the worst place on Earth. It's very dangerous. There are terrifying predators everywhere. There is no worse predator than human beings who live in towns. The forest is our salvation. There's no way I'm going to the forest. You are our Supreme Guide, the only one here who has been to the forest. I beg you, please take us there. Without you, we can never make our dream come true. Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. There you go, we're there. Here's the forest. Wow, I love it. Everything is so nice. Here. We mustn't hang around here for long. We might bump into Mitch. He's right. If he sees us, the gruesome grizzly will never let us go back to town. Hmm? Thank you, Eugenie. Thank you for the bottom of our hearts. Could you take us somewhere with a bit more light, please? It's a bit dark around here. Hmm. Here, is this okay? Awesome. Comrades, at last we are free. <laughs> oh, this little trip has given me an appetite. When do we get to eat? Uh, see, in the wild, you have to go foraging for food yourselves. Thank you dearly, Eugenie, for taking care of it. But you've got to learn to get by without me. We've already voted. You're taking care of dinner. What's all that stuff? Why aren't there carrots on the menu? Because carrots don't grow in the forest. Anyway, it's your problem. We're going home. Never. You are our supreme guide. You are staying with us. If you go, we'll come after you. We know where you live. Get it? The PRLF never gives up. So, go find us some carrots and get a move on. <laughs> Go back to the Living Stones. It's all my fault. I should have never gone along with them. But you were to know, and I'll never abandon you. A true canary never deserts her friend. Me neither. But maybe I might just head back to the Living Stones at some point to fetch some. Shut up! Wash! Yeah? I've been trailing you, Eugenie. Zip off your costume and show the PRLF you're not a rabbit. When they discover that you're not their supreme guide, they'll let you go. Wash! Oh, 
Forest Needer was right. The forest is full of evil predators. Run away! Not before we retrieve the hide of our supreme guide. Rally round, PRLF! Nice to see you, pals. Thanks, Susie, and thank you, friends. You are awesome. Match your service, Bab. At the PVLF, we stick together. See you soon. Okay, feel like getting back to the Living Stones? There's a soccer match on TV. We can check out the rules. Well, I never. What an incredible punch. Christopher has just floored his opponent. See? No foul. You can tell I'm not cheating. You're cheating. We're watching a boxing match, not a soccer match. You think Gustav, Angelica, and Guinevere got away? Don't worry, little sis. At this time of day, I'm sure they're tucked up nice and warm at home with their masters. You'll see. The four of us are going to have a ball. I'll take very special care of you. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Chop, chop, hurry on up, it's the Neighborhood swap arama Drop on by, shop and swap, exchange and change. This swap arama shenanigan is a pain. They've taken over our yard. Chill out, Wash. Look up at the sky and smile. Sam, there's no way we're going to tan. We're wearing costumes. Wow, there's a really pretty scarf and a really pretty yellow hat and some really lame knit hats. Oh. Look like laser specs, like in the dog from outer space, that movie we saw yesterday. Hmm. I think they look more like the super specs in the royal chicken commercial. The ones that detect roast chicken. Yeah! Chicken! Hey guys, look! Cool. If Mr. L takes them, we'll get to try them out. And they'll reveal the location of hundreds of roast chickens. Let's go. I don't believe it. It's the supervision specs. Uh-uh-uh. What have you got to give me in exchange? Oh, uh, well, how about this? A magnificent hedgehog key ring. Yeah, but lame. I'm keeping my specs. Don't move. I'll be right back. Drat and double drat. We'll never get to find out if they're laser specs roast chicken specs. They're roast chicken specs, it's obvious. Phooey, they're laser specs, Sam. Wanna bet? We can't just let it drop. We gotta find out who's right. Stay here, guys. Come on, Eugenie, I have an idea. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Eugenie, uh, you okay? Mr. Vetzer, Eugenie is passed out. Hmm. Come quick. I don't believe it. Why do people always hassle me when their pet is sick? <sighs> I hope someday someone gives me a good explanation. <laughs> good job, girls. Ready to lose the bet, Sam? Uh, 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 uh. Me first! Shoot! They're 
no roast chickens in the yard. Face up to it, Sam. You lost the bet. I told you they were laser specs. Now give them here. Hang on. These aren't laser specs. They're specs that warp reality. Incredible! Did you see, Sam? Hmm. Yeah. Did I see what? Uh-oh. Vitamin deficiency, probably. A little injection of carrot juice in the ears. That should do the trick. And soon she'll be bouncing like a kangaroo again. Yeah! Anybody want some? So, tell me, who is right? It was me all along. But seeing as there are no roast chickens hiding in the yard, Wash well, says we both lost. Don't look so sad. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. No, it's a catastrophe. What these specs do is show us without our disguises. What? What? Get your paws off. You'll give them, please. <laughs> Vladimir, I have an offer you cannot refuse. I will exchange for your specs for, wait for it, wait for it, this. Hmm. hmm, not bad. It reminds me of the work of a lesser known 20th century French master who specialized in ducks. What do you think? I'll take it, but only if the kitten has a clean bill of health. If the vet gives up the specs, Mr. L will see us as the wild animals we really are. Oh, no! I can't go back to the forest while I should do something! Mom, Mom, I want the sunglasses! All is not lost. Eugenie, it's showtime. <laughs> ah, ah, Mr. Ah, vet, come quick! a bit pale, don't you think? But it seems healthy to me. It's a deal. <laughs> They're all yours. Oh. Ah! Whoa! Do you realize, Honey Buns? I now possess the vet's supervision specs. It's all I needed to complete my collection. Yee-haw! <laughs> Come on, we gotta get rid of these. Alfie, can't you see? There are absolutely no sunglasses here. What's the point in telling lies? Now keep quiet and stay out of mischief! <laughs> Humans are so easy to fool. It's almost too easy for a fox. <laughs> My sunglasses! <laughs> you naughty dog! So, what do you think we could do to get rid of those, Wash? We're gonna bury them, Susie. Yeah? No, not the rose chicken specs. Why can't we keep them for us? But, Sam, those specs do not detect roast. Naughty doggy doggy, give me my sunglasses! Sam, eat! I want my specs! <laughs> They're my specs! I saw them first! <laughs> da! Wild animal! Run for cover! Supervillains, beware! Supervision is on his way! Ouch! What is this, Flim Flam? You can't see anything with these specs. Uh. <laughs> Stop right there, sweetie pie! Look at the pretty bonnets I found for you! Watch out! The blue cat is a wild boar! <laughs> the youth of today, they have such wild imagination. Huh? Hmm. But, 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 why are you all wearing underpants? Stop! That's enough now, Alfie! Stop trying to show off! <laughs> wild animals, now we've heard it all. You be good, my honey pies. Phew, he really had a sweating there. If we're sweating, it's because of Mrs. Livingstone's knit hats. The wool plus her costumes plus today's magnificent sunshine, it's no surprise we're sweating. This is outrageous. These glasses are fake. You can't see a thing. Where are the real ones? Quick, activate emergency plan. 
your child is simply delirious. Those specs should never be worn without the costume. They are far too powerful. He could start hallucinating all kinds of stuff. This pair is totally safe for you to wear. Oh, that's <laughs> what it was. Thank you, Mr. Livingstone. Oh, dear. Hmm, I'd better go test them out indoors instead. I have something to confess to you, Alexandra. He's gonna see us, Wash! He's gonna see us! Not if we're faster than he is! <laughs> Wait up, supervillains! I want to inspect you with my supervision specs! Phew! It's you, Vic! Wow, these specs sure do work good. And now, where have my supervillains got to? Wait up, supervillains! I want to inspect you with my supervision specs! This family is really getting worse and worse. Ha ha ha! You're not transparent, you know. I love you, Alexandra. Please kiss me. Alexandra, where are you? Uh, oh. What? No, I don't believe it. Not the old power cut trick. I know. We'll do it like on the TV. We'll stop Supervision from seeing us and grab the Super Specs from him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you, my little super villains. I've got to talk to you, sweetheart. It's about our darling pets. Supervision at your service. One minute. Aha! I know where my supervillains are hiding. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. But back. I've got him! Uh. Oh. Ready, Sam? Farewell, those chickens! Uh. Uh. Who turned out all the lights? Great trap, supervillains! <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is faster than Su- That's enough, honey! Don't you realize you're terrifying our little darlings with your silly spectacles? Uh, really? Of course! They don't recognize you with your specs and costume! Oh, no! I'm sorry, Sweetie Pies. I'm gonna throw these naughty spectacles in the garbage. Come on, come here. I'll give you a super hug! <laughs> Wait! What if someone finds the super specs in the garbage? Who do that? Only wild animals go rummaging through trash cans. And seeing as there are none around... <laughs> well said, Sam. Mm, roast chickens, here I come. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Why was I crying again? Uh, because I wish I was a cat so I can eat kibble all day long and watch TV. Oh, yeah. Because I wish I was a cat so I can eat TVs and watch kibble. Day long, all? Oh, forget it, Sam. With my magic rainbow, I grant you happiness and wonder. Hmm? Thank you, Eugenie. You don't look 
look like a unicorn. It's a game. We're only pretending I'm Lily the Unicorn. <laughs> Lily the Unicorn. That's totally for babies. Hogwash! Lily the Unicorn is amazing! If you say so. Okay, Sam, put your costume back on. Let's go outside and play something cool, maybe, huh? <laughs> What's up with you guys? You're doing great. How about yourself? You should watch what you're doing. You nearly squished my face off, and I gotta go perform on Animal Star, you knuckleheads. What's that I hear? Who dares argue in the land of wonder? What on earth is that? Well, you know, the Masters had this unicorn come visit, but she was about to leave. Have you gone out of your mind? What do you think you're playing at? At least I look like a unicorn, right? Get inside and zip up your rabbit costume before the Living Stones get back from the market. There is no more Eugenie. Now my name is Gigi, the happy unicorn. Okay, let me explain. A unicorn is an imaginary animal, which means that outside the TV, they don't exist. If the Living Stones discover you like that, you'll blow your cover straight away, and you can say farewell happiness and hello to a world of horror back in the forest. Too bad, because I put my rabbit costume in the trash. So from now on, it's unicorn or nothing. We're home. Sam, haul them off in the house. Susie, come with me. <laughs> Susie, keep watch while I get her costume back. Where on earth did she put it? Alert! Alert! Mr. Livingstone is gonna put the market basket in Gigi's hiding place! Too late! I can't believe it! It's incredible! <laughs> Have you seen this, Sweetie Pies? A unicorn! Isn't it magnificent? Hey, honey! I found a baby unicorn in the shack in the yard. Isn't it amazing? I've always dreamt of having my own unicorn. And to think you said they didn't exist. Oh, yes, indeed. Have you seen this, sweetie pies? Oh, hey, where's Eugenie? Uh, she must be having her afternoon nap somewhere. Quick, a selfie. I've got to get it on my Hamstergram account. You must be hungry, cutie pie. Gibble all around, my lovely furballs. It's not every day your dream comes true. So, who is it that said farewell happiness and hello world of horror, yada, yada, yada? Not me. And here you can trot around to your heart's content. Hello, Mr. Snobby Nose. Let me introduce my lovely little marvel. A unicorn? <laughs> How ridiculous. Oh. It's the Animal Star TV show. Hello, yes. Huh? What do you mean? <clears throat> Animal Star canceled Alvarez. They found somebody better on a hamstergram account. Don't you realize what this means? It's an outrage. Which animal could possibly surpass Alvarez? Come on, you know what they say. See a unicorn and feel happy all day. Hi, <clears throat> Animal Star wants a phone interview with you. They even canceled an Afghan Greyhound to talk about your unicorn. <laughs> Sorry, important call to make. Let me leave you with your new friend, Susie. This is amazing! What do you want to do now that you're a unicorn? I want to make everybody happy, duh. And to begin with, with my magic horn and rainbow power, I name you Deputy of Happiness! Yippee! Everything I've dreamed of! Thank you, Gigi. Give me that remote control! Uh-huh! Uh -huh. Hush! With my magic horn and rainbow power, let me make your dearest dream come true! I name you Commander of the Remote Control! Mm. Sounds right. Banana pancakes! Win the holiday of a lifetime! And cream sauce with broccoli and... Sam, don't sulk! You heard what Gigi said! <laughs> with my magic horn and rainbow power, your dearest... You're not through yet? There are folks trying to sleep around here. There's no need to be so unkind. Kindness is the food of life. Otherwise, it'll cost you one kibble in the naughty box. Pop mm -hmm. up. And what are you gonna do 
next, you... Complaining is forbidden. That'll be two kibble now. But I don't have any. Don't lie to me. I know you stashed them under your pillow. What? Now you're up to three kibble. <sighs> yes, with my magic horn, I can indeed make you happy. What is your dearest wish? We want to have the same litter box as Vic. Her litter box is the best. They say it smells like cotton candy. I'd like the same neckerchief as Alvarez. He never lets me borrow it. With my magic horn and rainbow power, all of your wishes will be granted. Hmm. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? That's my litter box. Don't worry, you can share Sam's litter box. What? No way! That's not nice. One kibble. Oh. It's not a hat, it's my cravat! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Happiness is all about sharing. With my magic horn, I declare that Vincent has the right to wear his neckerchief hat every other day. <laughs> no complaining. Cough it up. One kibble in the naughty box. Totally but when everything is said and done... I decided to... Throw my legs! <laughs> 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 Say, dumbbells, quit the magic unicorn act, or there's gonna be trouble. Boo hoo hoo, we're so afraid. <laughs> you know that wild animals are forbidden in this yard. Well, so are imaginary animals, too. Really? See your unicorn? You'd better lock it up indoors right this instant, or else. What's all this? Not more arguments. She started it. Ah, 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 give me your paws. With my magic horn, I offer the ribbon of friendship. Go make peace, <laughs> or else. You gotta listen to Gigi. She can make us happy using her magic horn. Ever since she turned up, I've had all the kibble like you need. Ah, ah, ah. She's watching us, quick, let's be peaceful. But that is disgusting. Alvarez, what has happened to your dignity and your cravat? Here I was coming out to post photos of you on Hamstergram. <laughs> How horrific! You leave me no choice, Alvarez. I'm going to have to replace you with a magic animal even more magical than a unicorn. And he will make it onto Animal Star. An animal more magical than a unicorn? Whatever could that be? I intend to steal the horn of that ridiculous unicorn and become magic in her place. I shall make it onto Animal Star and win back my master's love. What is going on here? Uh, a wild animal? I'm calling the dog pound. Uh. Oh. Hello, animal pound. Uh, can't you see the poor little creature is terrorized? She must feel so lost. I shall take her back to the forest myself right this instant. goes, who's gonna give me all the kibble I can eat? Sam, there are worse matters at hand. If you're hungry, eat this. Thanks, Wash. <laughs> Eugenie's costume, she hid it in her magic horn. I'm just taking the baby boar back to the forest. You can help me look for Eugenie when you get home. I'm getting worried. <laughs> Eugenie, what are you doing here, beautiful? You haven't seen a baby boar, have you? Huh? He got out through the window? Okay, I guess he must have set off home. Come on, I have to introduce you to our extraordinary new friend. Mm -hmm. Say, where did she go? Phew! I looked everywhere. Nothing. Our unicorn has disappeared. You know, honey, that's the thing with magic animals. They appear and disappear just like that. But when we have such a magnificent crew of fantastic furry friends, who needs unicorns to be happy? No, oh, you're right, honey. So, what are you watching, Lily the Unicorn? Ha! Huh, that's for babies. We're watching Goliath the Dragon. Now that's cool! 
Okay with the dragon, but no fooling around this time, okay? 